Dear students of class 9 and 10, welcome to you all in higher mathematics class. Today we are going to discuss about binomial expansion which is in the topic of your uh, textbook discussed in chapter 10. And this is lecture 4 on this topic. Those of you who have not taken part in lecture 1, 2 and 3, please go to the lecture 1, 2 and 3 in this channel and then come to lecture 4. This will help you to understand in this lecture perfectly. So, uh, in this class we are going to uh, solve some problems from exercise 10.1. Uh, we have uh, discussed theoretical uh, discussion uh, in last three lectures. Today we are going to solve uh, some problems given in exercise 10.1. In lecture 1, uh, in problem 1, uh, we see that find the expansion of 1 plus y over to the power 5 by using, uh, by the help of Pascal's triangle or binomial theorem with the help of above expansion, find 1 minus y over to the power 5 and uh, 2, 1 plus 2x over to the power 5. Uh, I think uh, you can solve this uh, problem by yourself and uh, we have discussed this type of problem in our lecture 1 so I will give it like I will leave it for you as HW in lecture uh, in problem 2 according to the ascending power of X expand the following up to first order uh, up to first four terms 1, uh, 1 plus 4 x to the power 5 and 2 is 1 minus 3 x to the power 7. Uh, so, I also think you can uh, you can solve this problem uh, too by yourself. So, I will leave it for you as a, as a homework because I have discussed this kind of problem in lecture 1 and lecture 2. In uh, problem 3, we have that In problem 3, uh, we have that expand 1 plus x square whole to the power 8 up to first 4 terms. Uh, find the value of 1 point. Find the value of 1.01 whole to the power 8 by using the result. So, uh, this problem is uh, the first part we have done uh, before but it's the second part here we have not done it before so I will uh, solve this problem by, uh, for you uh, so let's go and solve the problem number three Exercise ten point one. Problem number three. Solution. We are given uh, the expression. Uh, no, expression one plus x whole to the power square whole to the power 8 uh, and we have to uh, expand it up to first four first four terms so uh, let us build a Pascal's triangle here 
this is simply one one to one one for six for one one by ten So here is our Kaspers triangle, uh, but uh, see that I have uh, left the second, uh, I have made a mistake on the second line, that is first line is 1, then second line will be 1, 1, then it will come up 1 to 1. So here the first four uh, coefficients of this expression will be 1, uh, 8, 28 and 56. So the first term will be 1 into 1 to the power 8 into x square root of the power 0. Then second term will be 8 into 1 to the power 7 and x square to the power 1. x square to the power 1. And then 1 into 1 to the power 6. Uh, sorry, 28 into 1 to the power 6 into x square whole to the power 2 plus 56 into 1 to the power 5 and x square whole to the power uh, 3 plus dot dot dot. Uh, as we have uh, asked to expand the series up to four term, so we have written only four terms here. So let us simplify. One one to the power eight and x square to the power zero, and the value of all the three are one. Uh, x to the power x square to the power zero is equal to one. So uh, the value of all 3, 1, 1 to the power 8 and x square all to the power 0 is 1. So 1 into 1 into 1 equal to 1. 1 plus 8 into 1 to the power 7 that is 1 and x square to the power 1 x square that is 8 x square plus 28 1 to the power 6 is 1 and so 28 x to the power 4 and then 56 into x to the power 6 1 to the power 5 is equal to 1 therefore x to the power uh, x to the power 2 whole to the power 3 is x to the power 6 these are the required four terms and it is the answer of the first part Now uh, we have to calculate the value of 1 into 1, 1.01 to the power 8 uh, using the expansion or using the result. Using the result of 
part one the first part so now we can write that 1.01 01, uh, 0 01 is equal to uh, 1 by 1 plus x square we have to compare these two expressions 1 plus x square and 1.01 01. so let 1 plus x square equal to 1.01 01. then x square is equal to 1.01 01 minus 1 or x square equal to or x square equal to 1 0 0.01 or x equal to root over 1.01 .01, that is x equal to uh, is using calculator we can get that x equal to 0 0.1 So we have found the value of x and so you can uh, replace the value of x in the expansion we have got in the first part uh, or we can use or we can also use the value of x square. So we will get this. Putting the value of x in the expansion we get one plus x square uh, we will write the expression first then we put the value of x and now put the value of x here 1 plus 0 0.1 0 0.01 value of x squared is 0 0.01 therefore 0 0.01 also the power 8 equal to 1 plus 8 into value of x is equal to 0 0.1 whole square plus 28 into 0 0.1 whole to the power 4 plus 56 into 0 0.1 whole to the power 6 and so on. Now it will give us, oh sorry I have not written this over, 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.01 that is 1.01 .01 whole to the power 8 equal to 1 plus 8 into uh, 0 0.01 plus 28 into uh, it will be 0. Point, you may use calculator to find this value or you may manually multiply 0 0.14 times which will give you uh, 0. Point, uh, Zero zero zero
now at the next term we will get 56 into and to 0 0.1 whole to the power 6 which means uh, which means 0 0.00 and so on dot 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 which will be equal to one plus one plus zero point zero eight plus 0 0.00028 0 0.00056 and so on so as a result we will get 1 plus 1, 1 0.082856 dot 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 therefore we can write that one point zero one one to four eight equal to zero point zero eight Two eight five six eight So now using calculator, we can verify the result. One point uh, one point zero one eight equal to yes, we are right. One point zero eight two eight. Five six seven zero six. If we take all the um, all the terms of the expansion, if we take all the terms of the expansion, then we will get the correct value. Uh, that is one point zero eight two eight five six seven zero six. As we have not taken uh, all the terms of the expansion. So we have got correct value up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 decimal points. Uh, I think you can understand the solution. Now we will go ahead and see uh, what will be the next. According to the ascending power of x, expand the following uh, following up to first three terms then we have to uh, expand these up to three terms so i think you can do it by yourself because uh, i have shown you how to expand this uh, power series uh, in the binary expansion in our last three lectures so i will not do it, do it. you have to do it by yourself so this is also a good one. and uh, then uh, what find the following expansion up to first four terms using Pascal triangle or binomial theorem and you will do it uh, not or and you will do it in both way as you have not because I taught you how to use binomial expansion and also how to use the Pascal triangle and also uh, this is also the same type of map so this is also uh, and uh, for this type of map uh, like 3 here I will give you another example 
as your homework. You can do it by yourself. Homework. It's great. It's fun. One plus. One minus it's one, one minus x square ten find the value of zero point nine. Seven, seven, using the expression. You have to do it by yourself. So, boys, thank you for uh, participating in this class. Uh, and in the next class, we will go and solve some problems from 10.2.